It's 2 o'clock, we gotta go live, so let's go blow up some. Hey. Hey, what's up? You ready? Uh, yeah, um, so, what's the situation? Are you driving yourself to the airport? I planned on leaving by 3 to get there with enough time, so, are you ready? I'm ready to go. If you can pick me up, that would save me some time. Yeah, I can pick you up. I will take my car. Darby's meeting us at the airport. He's going to take his car there because I told him it just doesn't make sense to leave it at the office. Uh, okay, so hotels. We're staying at the Four Seasons? Yeah, I'm going to book at the Four Seasons. I'll do that on the, on the way. So we're flying in tonight. We're staying tonight and tomorrow in the hotel. We'll check out. Oh, no, we need Friday night, too. I'll have to extend it because then we're going to drive to D.C. and meet our client out there on Saturday morning and go see his yeah. collection. Okay. Hey, I just sold the Yacht Master that has. I just gave it to him for like 21 dollars because the dial is damaged. It needs a new dial. Okay. And we know, I guess we never looked it out, so I was like, f*** it. I sold him 21 dollars We made 500 bucks. Okay. Replace it now. So he's going to wire 21 dollars today. All right. Well, all right. I'm going to get out of here. I'm headed, uh, headed out your way, okay? <laughs> All right, we gotta go. Hello? Yo, quick question for you. Have you come across or felt the new 41 sub, white gold, black face, blue belt? Oh, oh, the blue, yeah, yeah, the new Smurf. Okay, so our cost is around 45, 46. His cost will be 48. Your cost will be like 48. Yeah. Roughly. All right. All right. All right, bye. <laughs> that was the <laughs> worst fake I've ever seen. Should have confiscated it. Do you see those wedges in the bezel? <laughs> Look like a mountain bike dirt track. And then you get those bezels at uh, Home Depot. <laughs> <laughs> On this edition of Talking <laughs> 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 Calling out watches at the airport. Yeah, was, uh, hey, how long is the flight? Anybody know? Three hours and 15 minutes. Holy <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'll survive. You're not going to get us on video, Darby, since you're in first class and we are not. Yeah, actually, you should give up your seat for one of us. <laughs> we did get you a really nice hotel room by yourself. Yeah, by yourself. Because you snore obnoxiously loud. Yeah, and wow. put this in the video. Wow. Give me that camera. <laughs> this guy. This guy. <laughs> Sounds like a freight train off its rails. <laughs> you get your own floor. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, do you want the rooms next to each other? And I was like, hell, hell no. no. <laughs> if you knew why we were getting separate rooms, you'd get it. <laughs> hey, they're calling first class. You bougie ass. Come on. Hey, write us a note. Let us know how. Pronouncing your last name incorrectly this entire time. I'm so sorry. How do you, how do you pronounce it? Fur? It's close. How do, how do you pronounce it, sir? Fair. Fair. I probably say it wrong though. I don't know. <laughs> I doubt that you would say that wrong. Italian way, it's a bit odd. And then, just in case, sir, I wanted to confirm we did have a Miss McVeigh. Um... Oh, I'm That's so me. sorry. Yeah. I apologize. That's you, sir. That'd be the storm. I apologize. <laughs> it's literally on the business. I'm so sorry. I'm it was on a plane. I was probably talking to a uh, Miss while I was saying it. <laughs> Miss McVeigh couldn't make it. Thank you. Okay, whatever, dude. Gentrified. Oh. Good morning, bro. <laughs> morning, buddy. So we're having breakfast right now. I just since you just sent me the address, I just GPS it. It's 50 minutes away, so more than likely we're gonna be there about right at 10 ish. That would yeah, that'd probably be perfect. Honestly, we're just trying to set up and uh, get the cameras ready and everything's straight. So. All right, cool, that's fine, yeah, take your time. I'll uh, text you when we're a few minutes out. Yeah, all right, try to stay two minutes. All right, buddy. All right, cool. All right. And I picked the tightest parking spot. How may I help you? We're here to see you, Roman and Adrian. Sure, come on in. Thank you. Hey, what's going on? Hey, hey what's, up? what's up, man? What's up, man? <laughs> what up? Did you eat upstairs? We did. What's a good restaurant now that you get all that, you get that view? It's cloudy this morning. morning. Hey, what's going on? What's going on, Joe? Good. 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 Good to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hey. Oh. hey. Oh. 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 Oh.
coffee. Yeah, I'll take a coffee. Well, damn, four, espr four espressos in. <laughs> <I'm still tired. laughs> There's your boy who just turned dirty, dirty. Happy birthday, Happy birthday buddy. Thank you. Uh, it's been a fun weekend, but these guys are from Texas in Philadelphia. We get down pretty nasty as well. So we're gonna all blow up some and blow up some steams. You got you ready? You staying behind. I'm staying behind. I can't go. Which way is the safe? I'm gonna that go. way. Right, I'm gonna go rummage through there and find some cool Alright. <laughs> How you doing, guys? We're here with the filming crew. Okay, not a problem. Let me see. Let me see. I'm wrong, but it's less dense. It's just fake, bro. Yeah, but I mean. Let me see. Let me see. This is my brother. Really this is my brother Ed. Hey, Luke, come here. Come here. Come here. Lucas Camera Shack. It's also a little steel. Camera Shack. First of all, this is for you. Oh, thank you so much. All right, now you have a gold and a steel. Yes, I do. All right, we got two o'clock. We got to go live, so let's go blow. Oh, there you go. That's a tough fake. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but uh, it's a nice setup. Yeah, that thing is tough as shit. It won't break. I hit it for it. Look at this. Shit. It won't break. This is insane. That is a tough bolex. That's how you remove links. Say hello to my little friend. I think he's dead. Boys, let's go check this out. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's see how we did. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let's buy a bezel. <laughs> Let me see. Is that for the sub? <laughs> no, that's the. Oh my god. That actually looks kind of cool. Going it looks like an alien head. That's going to be for our project. Yo. Look, it's still got the plastic on it. I'm going to take the stickers off this Rolex. Is that, is that, my, is that the sub? Uh, I think so, yeah. What's the sub? I mean, you shot it clean through. You know what it is? It's just, just everything just popped open when you yeah. shot them. AP, that was my shot. I mean, this is bad because like this whole shit got deformed. Look, wow. now look, the screws are still intact. Yeah, this guy had it bad. Uh, this was full auto. <laughs> this was full auto. This was bad. Wow. Tis no more. That's the sub. Yeah, that was the well. It's not bad actually. Oh, actually, the lattice lasted okay. Wow. This Must was the fun WC. So they nipped it here. This is full auto also. And it shot it right through. Golly. Aren't you glad you're not a fan of ride? <laughs> <laughs> fan of ride. And that was a lot of fun, man. Yeah, this is how we do it in Philadelphia. I'm, I'm sure when I get down to Texas. Time. That was amazing. I heard that when I get down to Texas, we can shoot from a helicopter. Yeah, we're going to shoot hogs from a helicopter. You coming? I'm Let's go. <laughs> All right. Thanks. As it is the end of week 11 of our 52-week series, and it has been an exhausting week. It's been fun. It's been exciting. It's been a little bit different, a lot more action outside the office and deals. We've had both mine and Marco's birthday celebration that you guys enjoyed. Uh, the Lambos, epic, but probably the best thing we've done all week. So, yeah, I definitely want to give a shout-out to... JJ at Auto Dreams and Chris at Prestige Auto. Thank you guys so much. Yes, thank you guys for ruining the Audi for us. Now we are <laughs> on the hunt for Huracan Evos or a Perfamonte because those things were per definitely a perf. Yeah. Those things were bad. I'm not going to lie. So let's do the numbers real quick. Guys, if you're following along, you know that every week we have a sales goal of $273,437.50 that we try to reach in sales Monday through Friday. This week we surpassed our goal by 24%, again, coming in at $337,950. That's pretty good considering that him and I have been out of town. That's 21 watches. Yeah, five, out, yeah. five days out of the week. Uh, we did 21 watches, 18 retail, three wholesale. We're still in that kind of that slow period where we're focusing more, less on sales and more on building the back end of the business. And actually we've been, last week's numbers were lower. We were focused on building our sales team. The sales team, Dylan, they were the guys that did all these sales, Dylan and Mike and our interns, they were the guys that were going to work while we've been gone doing all this stuff. So yeah. guys. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Obviously y'all see this tomorrow. 
uh, y'all are kicking ass and we're getting even better. We expect things to start ramp. They're going to slow down again this week, maybe. We expect them to start really ramping up about the middle of April after tax season, you know. Let's jump into some thoughts on the week. Uh, first thing that comes to mind, New Surrette. Yeah. What Nusserat. did you think? It was good. I, I think it's more of an experience. Um, I think we prefer Nick and Sam's. Absolutely. I will. Yeah. Uh, Eighteen thousand dollars at that. I feel like you just you're paying for a lot of show, and you guys know I love my Nick and Sam's. Honestly, the show there is better. The food is better. Uh, I we did it once. We got it on video. We've done the whole social media thing, which is what do you think what you go there for? But I'm Nick and Sam's till I die. Yeah, so I'm, I'm actually gonna. Yeah, we Definitely. fly out. Yeah. As of the time of you watching this video, it's actually Sunday morning here. We're flying back in and going straight to Nick and Sam's just to get that taste back in my mouth. So, uh, if you guys go there, I mean, get the flash. Honestly, your be your money is better spent at Nick and Sam's. That's just my personal opinion. Next big topic: Roman Sharf, Adrian. Again, happy birthday, Adrian. Roman, much appreciated. We enjoyed coming out. We were glad you hosted us. Enjoyed the gun range and enjoyed seeing your facilities, the team, the culture, everything you've created. It's bad. Uh, thank you for the business insight. We got a lot yeah, of a lot of valuable was, information. Everything was definitely much appreciated. The gun range was definitely a highlight, <laughs> Roman. Yeah. You definitely are on par with Texas. I've got to say, you've got some good stuff. But not Texas yet. So you come out. We're going to show you. We're going to take you up in a helicopter and let you shoot some hogs. Uh, and then we're going to obviously finish at Nick and Sam. So uh, next thing. Oh. Guys, you know we love uh, we love flying people out to see our business. We've got Adrian coming in next week as the last YouTube winner. We're doing it again, only this one's going to be a step above. Roman and Adrian and Marco and I all talked about going to the IWG Watch and Jewelry Show in Miami in April. Guess what? We're going to take one of y'all with us. So, you know the drill. Share this video on your social media, but we're going to add a twist to it. Everyone that shares it on their social media, come back. Give us your best comment, funny, quirky, yeah, clever, whatever it is, something that has to do with something you saw in the video. We are gonna sit down on Friday before we film the outro for the next video and we're gonna pick a winner. You're gonna fly to Dallas with us, spend the night with Roman, Adrian, myself, Marco going out, then we're gonna hop on a flight and you're gonna go tag team IWJG with us. You want a real watch buying experience? You don't get it anywhere else than a jewelry show. You talk about walking up to a table oh, yeah. and it's two, three, four, five million dollars worth of watches sitting on one little table. And hundreds and there's of them. There's hundreds of tables. It's gonna be an epic experience. Plus you're in Miami. So get to get to work sharing this video on every social media platform you can. Every time you share it, come back and drop us a clever comment. The more comments, the better. The more shares, the better. So good luck to those. Uh, Marco, phone calls versus text. Okay, guys, as much as I appreciate the overwhelming you know, phone calls I'm getting, I decided the best method to talk to me would be through text messaging. If you're going to text me a watch you'd like, please screenshot that watch, send it to my cell. The next thing, if you want to sell your watch, please come with me as much information as you can about this watch. It helps me get it to the right sales guy or myself, Anthony, Dylan, all the rest of the team can help out with that. And that would be highly appreciated. Everything would be either through WhatsApp or through text. As much as I'd love to talk, it's just it's just not enough hours in the day to keep up with all the phone calls. And we do appreciate. We love yeah, we, we love, love hearing that you guys love the channel. That's more of a show, tell us how much you love the channel on the channel cuz we read through all the comments uh, and, and to elaborate a little bit more on that, when he needs information, if you're looking for a watch, guys, screenshot the perfect watch you want. If there's a couple you're interested, go to the websites, screenshot them, send them to us. If you're looking to sell a watch and you've got something, send us a picture of it, send us some specs. We need to know what year it is. We're always gonna ask you, what year is it? Is it new or pre-owned? What's the condition like? Does it come with everything? Do you have a number you're in mind you're looking to get to it? Are you looking to sell it? Are you looking to consign it? The more information you can give us, the faster we can get it processed versus you just texting us saying, hey, looking to sell a watch. Because then we've got to respond, well, what kind of watch? Then you got to do this. And then we got to keep going back and forth. Let's just expedite it make it real easy. Also, we talked about transitioning a little bit of our business model due to some uh, insight from Roman's idea. I think we're going to start focusing heavily on the consignment aspect of business. There's not a lot of retail spaces out there where you can actually walk in and you can browse inventory that's all on consignment from people all over the country. Kind of seems like a 
It's a win-win too for Look. our customers because yeah. they'll also get a little bit more money out of it because our buy price versus our consignment price is obviously gonna have a difference of roughly five to 10%. And that goes into your pockets if you can sign. So, you know, we're, at, we're gonna do a flat rate fee. We haven't decided fees yet, but we'll update you guys with that too. But they will be better than any other consignment sites you can find online, anywhere, at any jewelry, jewelry store, auction house, anything. We will match or beat, you know, we will beat any consignment price. So guys, if you're interested in selling some watches, Instead of selling it right outright to a dealer, call us first and consider consigning it. We have a huge network on social media, in our store, our presence. We can get your watch sold faster and met you more money. So uh, last but not least, two more things. Guys, you know we've been trying to build up this network as we have started traveling a lot more. You can see the beautiful Virginia backdrop to us. We've got DC in front of us. We're gonna start traveling more. We wanna get out, we wanna meet you guys. So. I'm gonna drop a link to our network landing page where you can go on and you can drop your name, the city you live in, and your email, and we are creating a database of people all over the country. So as we start traveling, we can start organizing these fan meet and greets, dinners, uh, watch education seminars, whatever. That's just for us. We talked to Roman, we've got something big in the works, so stay tuned. We're gonna do a massive fan meet and greet either in Miami, LA, I'm not sure yet. Just stay tuned to another the other videos, it's coming soon. But drop your information down there so we know where you're at. Guys. Oh my God. <laughs> what is that? Look at that. Look at that. That's cool, that's the second one every, I've seen. Every 20 minutes, right? Every, <laughs> I like this, I could, be, I could get used to that. Uh, not if you live here. All right, guys, we hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as we've enjoyed shooting it. So if you know the drill, time. guys. If you like the video, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe as it helps us grow. Hit the bell so you're notified next time we drop a video. Those of you that have been following along consistently, you know that every Monday morning at 10 o'clock we post this video detailing the our accounting for the week before. We've got, we are at week 11 finishing out. We've got 40 more weeks to go to get that sales goal. So I hope you guys stay tuned and we'll 